So do I need this? No. Do I want it? <sighs> yes. Listen, they are green. So am I. I vibe with them. I can winnie. I can count. Oh, hello, my lovely nestlings, and welcome to today's video, which is another new makeup releases. I have a lot of fun things to chat about today. I have a lot of lifestyle and I also have some skincare and of course makeup. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'm from the Netherlands, hence the accent. I'm also slightly orcish, relatively vintage, and I love spooky stuff and being creative. I also love to chat about makeup as this video is about and if that sounds of something that you can vibe with then uh, consider subscribing and become part of my nest links because we are having a blast here on the internet let me do explain some things though before we go any further slightly orcish means i have an olive complexion i'm a light medium warmish olive and the relatively vintage means i'm 46 yes now that we got all that out of the way we can just get into it let me just go to the side because as i said i have a lot uh, the makeup look i did film I kind of hope that it is online. If it is, it went online yesterday. Otherwise, it's coming this weekend. I hope. Uh, it's done with the Colourpop Hocus Pocus 2 collection. And I'm also trying out the House Labs foundation and setting powder. So far, so good. Yes. Uh, let me open up my Instagram. I don't know where my sweater is from. It's from a th thrift, thrift store. Years back, yes. Um, oh, you see that? you see this one behind me? This one. I actually made this one. It's a fairy lamp with one of those battery operated tea lights inside. If you want to see how to make one of these, um, check out my channel. Because I uploaded the video making that one. It went online last Monday. If I don't forget, I will link it underneath the cards. I had so much fun making that. And more will follow, just so you know. Okay, let's start with... Oh yeah, let's start with food. Because I have food. Yes, I do. This is by Ghoul at Heart. These are witch fingers. The witch fingers are cookies. And then in that in that cauldron uh, tea cup, coffee cup, whatever, there is kind of a chocolatey sauce. And I'm like... I want to make this. Now, I looked at the recipe. I will leave the Instagram down below. And in the Instagram, if you click the... I think it's the link tree. You get all the recipes. Now, this recipe is not vegan. But I can make it vegan. So... And, and next week, we are having... Um, pumpkin carving so maybe if i feel fancy i will make some because and there are so many cool recipes on that side they are not vegan or vegetarian or maybe there are some options but honestly you can very easily make something vegan or vegetarian uh, just if there's any milk substituted with plant milk if you need an egg for binding there are also ways to do that if you type in vegan egg you get a ton of recipes so um Yeah, just like that. That's what I'm going to do with this. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I, I really, really like this. So thank you so, so much for sending this in the end. Lots of fun recipes, especially for this time of year. Go check them out. They will be linked below. Next, I am going to go to something that is just, when I saw this, it, it did something to me. So I will show you basically two artworks uh, let me show you this one first this is actually a painting but there are also um prints and cards um this is from miraila allwood i hope i pronounced that correctly because i don't actually know um and then this yeah it's just so extremely pretty and this this image is called the calling um it's a call to us all to weave the web of light and love around our earth and they are so so stunning i will link the etsy shop down below definitely go check out the artist this is so so cool but the next thing that i saw it was actually the first thing that i saw from this artist is this with the magpies and this is the enchanter's wheel but if i'm not mistaken i also saw this in print As a basically a greeting card in her shop. This is so cool. Now if you don't know. and pro, I don't know why you would kind of know. I have a magpie tattooed on my uh, shoulder. And on the other one. On the shoulder is a raven. Uh, but yeah. This is the European magpie. And it's just. This image does something for me. So I need this image. The other one. I also need. But not for me. For someone else. But this is just. 
so so cool so i will leave the etsy shop down below and i will leave the instagram handle down below definitely go follow that artist um then i i have some kitty kitty cat funky funny Halloweeny paintings which are these by mr jellyfish the ones you see here are frank 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 kittenstein and his bride there are more and they are just too cute so yeah honestly go check out that instagram because when i click on that instagram it just makes me happy there is just so there's just so much and it is all so extremely cute there is more there's more that this artist is doing and it's very very cool indeed so definitely definitely go check it out um these that you see here are oil on paper they're framed um 3.5 by 5 inch that's the size of the of the actual frame and the actual painting is 2.5 by 3.5 inch i don't know what it is in centimeters uh i don't really understand inches i ca it's kind of like 2.2 or something we should just use one because that would be easier but apparently we do not uh, but i will link the instagram and the shop down below definitely go check it out the next thing that i have is from spirits and beings and this is so so pretty uh, she's actually dutch yes yes we have very talented people here in our small country she is dutch she's living in amsterdam and when i saw this pop up i was like oh my freaking god this is so so pretty it's so pretty i will leave the instagram down below i will leave the shop down below this is the i i can do a lot uh, creative wise but when i see this i know my limitations there's nothing wrong with knowing your limitations um this is so so pretty oh this is chef's kiss honestly definitely go follow the artist buy something if you want to because i yeah it's definitely going to be worth it i already know that so the next thing do i have a lot of Oh, I have I have basically one is it from the same artist? Yeah. I have one artist to talk about and then we kind of go into a regular regular programming. So this is Whimsy Calling. You see here just just kind of a picture of cuteness. Uh it says here how do I purchase? There are shop updates usually a few times a month. Everything the artist has been working on becomes available at once. It's the only way to purchase. Uh when are the updates? They are random. Um that's why I always say follow the artist, follow them on Instagram because they will let you know when there's a new shop update, right? But I will leave the Instagram handle down below. I will leave the shop down below. These are two. This stuff is what makes me want to use Bake Off Clay. And I have downstairs and I kind of want to, I don't want to create this. I kind of want to give my own spin on it. But this is, when I see stuff like this, it makes me want to be creative. And it's so, so inspiring. And that's also why I mention stuff like that. Because I love to, to watch it. And I kind of hope to inspire you to, I don't know, create something of yourself. What I'm going to mention though is, I also need to mention this one. This is a Hellcat. And... It, If you have cats, you kind of know that sometimes, right? These are just so cute, so cute. So that's why I wanted to mention it. Yes, and that was the last thing of the giftables. Now I'm going to go to skincare. And I'm going to start with the Ordinary. And it's going to be very quick because the Ordinary renamed the Buffet Serum. Uh, the Buffet Serum is their multi-peptide serum. And it's now called multi-peptide plus AH, HA serum. Um... The ingredients are the same. Everything is the same. It's just that the name has changed. Uh, so yeah, if you're like, where is the buffet? It has been renamed. And I will link down below where you can find it. I, I don't know if they still have the sale going on. They had a sale. They had a very, very nice sale though. Which was, I think, 40% off. So I stocked up on... Uh, on this thing yes uh, next i'm going to go to spooks and spanks and they are based in montreal quebec in canada um i have mentioned her i think last year maybe even the year before when i found her she makes a lot of stuff but she makes 
these types of soaps and these are so so cool she also makes a body butter that i have here she also makes room sprays that i also have here because she sent me a pr package last time and it was just so so it took quite a while to get to me but it was very much worth it and in there were also two soaps and that's what i want to mention now i love the way that her soaps are they smell nice they are very very nice to use and they are just they're spooky i love that so that's why i wanted to mention it again this is morty mcfried and it will be uh, in store uh, in the store october 31st uh, in her uh, regular store and um, november 2nd online this brand is definitely worth it definitely worth it the soap uh, the soap blocks they're quite big they're like this um it's a very very nice soap now i am very very particular it needs to i've said this before this needs to be when i die it needs to be on my tombstone here here rests nikki she was extremely particular because that is very much how i am um especially with certain things so for me a bar i like bar soaps however I don't like it, but with some bar soaps, you get that bar soap feeling. There's no other way to describe it. It's kind of like there is sometimes when I, when my skin is still wet and I then do this, it feels like there's a kind of a barrier on top. I don't know, but I don't like that. It's just a certain feeling that I don't like. Her soaps don't have that. So you feel clean. Um, and that's it there's no weird residue layer or anything so in my opinion they're very much worth it uh i will leave the instagram down below i will leave also the online store down below yes that was the last thing skincare wise that i have now i'm going to make up let's start with glam light because glam light is going to release the collaboration with scooby-doo that i mentioned last week they will release it the 22nd or at 12 p.m. CST. And in the collection will be a highlighter duo, two eyeshadow palettes, a mascara, a liquid eyeliner, lashes, and three uh, types of lipsticks. I love Scooby-Doo. I, I do. I, I, I love the cartoon. I watched all the movies. I love scooby-doo so when i saw this i was like exactly exactly one is cool one is scooby snack let's hope i don't yes i did not really like scrappy doo or whatever the tiny one i like scooby-doo um so when i saw this i was like i'm very very intrigued now i'm not really a fan of glam lights formula i am going to be honest in that i'm just not Looking at this collection though, I'm like, oh, this is so cool. Uh, right now it's USA only when it will drop. I don't know if it will drop globally. I wish I wish it would, but I have no idea. Uh, I will leave their site down below. It's just so, I, I think this they nailed this collection. Very, very much so. Um, I like both eyeshadow palettes. I like the lippies. Um... And everything is 20 bucks and under. So I think that the eyeshadow palettes are the most expensive. Then probably at 20 bucks. If I can find out. Um, yeah. So the eyeshadow palettes are 20 bucks a piece. piece. Uh, I like both color stories. I am actually more drawn towards the one with the purple. Basically the purple palette. or the Yeah, the purple palette. Which is teal shades. And I love teals. The, the, Teals is the only kind of blue shade that I really, really enjoy. Uh, there is a darker blue in here, but that darker blue, yeah, I can vibe with. Um, there's also kind of a, what is it, a dark blue shimmer. It's kind of monochromatic rose again, which I really enjoy. I also like the look of the other palette. Looking at the swatches, I like the look of the other palette as well. I think that they will work very well together. Um, am I going to buy them? I actually don't know. I don't know. I am. I want. I want to do a low buy. I'm going to do a video on it, but I do want to do a low buy. Uh, but this is. If I were to get anything from this collection, it would be purely be for me. Not that I mind that. Uh, hell, I bought the Hocus Pocus 2 complete collection for me as well. Because let's face it, by the time I'm getting it, no one wants to see it anymore, almost. Uh, so I think this is very, very cool. But still, I don't know. I can, I can check if it's... Hmm, I don't know if it will come to Europe. 
it would be awesome if it would but probably not um i also like the way that the lippies are looking the components with the spiders yeah very very cool so i really do like this collection a lot i love that they went there with the holographic I love that a lot. Uh, so let me know if you're excited. Let me know if you're excited. I am not sure if I will get anything right now. But let me know. Let me know if you are excited. Okay, let's next go to... What's this? I think it was Lime Crime, right? Yeah, Lime Crime. Uh, this is the Velvet... Teens Vault Volume 1. The OG Matte Kiss Proof Liquid Lipstick is getting a blast from the past. We're bringing you five most requested shades out of retirement. It's available now. And it's a complete set. And I think this is so cool. If you love these types of lippies, this is so cool. However, it is in a set. So I'm, I'm very much like, if you want all the colors, get the set. If you're like, yeah, but I just want the olive -y green. And then there are other brands who have who carry an olive green kind of lipstick, right? So uh, Unearthly Cosmetics, for instance, comes to mind, but also Black Moon Cosmetics come to comes to mind. So I did want to mention it because it's uh, funky colors. Let me know. Let me know if you like this release. Okay, let's next go to Colourpop. I have actually two things from Colourpop. So the first thing I'm going to mention is Love You Chocolot. This is um This collection will drop uh, today. As you are seeing this, it's a 16 pen eyeshadow palette. Then uh, three French Kiss lip lacquers and four cream luxe lipsticks. And um, I like this color story a lot. Do I need it? No. I very much do not. But I like it. I also love the lip colors. I think the lip colors are are very very pretty as well so let me know if you are let me know if you are excited i i'm like oh i really want to get this on the other hand looking in my collection honestly though i also bought the huda empowered palette and looking at this i'm like i should have waited and bought this instead of the huda palette But that's kind of me. I have used it once. The Huda palette. Um, it did not blow me away. At all. Um, I felt that the matte shadows were very hard pressed. And I had trouble picking them, picking them up with synthetic brushes. I had no problem with real hair brushes. That I also still have in my collection. But. Um, I was actually kind of underwhelmed. Kind of. So, but I played with it once. So maybe it's the shade combination that I used. I don't know. But looking at this, yeah, I, I, I like this color story way more. But I also have the Stone Cold Fox. So do I need this? No. Do I want it? <sighs> yes. Let's... Uh, they're also doing another Star Wars collab And this time it's with C-3PO It's a 9 pen palette It will launch the 27th at 10am PST This is a palette that I'm like Yeah, I really like this color story I have them all I will get this one uh, Usually they restock this constantly So will I make a separate color pop order Just for this palette? Probably not um, But I do want this Yeah Yeah, I'm a completionist. What can I say? Next, I'm going to go to um, uh, iHeart Revolution because they have collabed with Shrek. And I, I, when I saw this, I was like, finally, someone's collabing with Shrek. Listen, they are green. So am I. I vibe with them. I can winnie. I can count. You know, kind of like that. I love Shrek. Yeah. I very much do. So when I saw this collection, I was like, oh my God, that is so, so cool. Now there's a bunch in the collection. So there's the Happily Ever After shadow palette, a Shrek shadow palette, a Donkey on the Edge mini palette, a Puss in Boots mini palette. Oh, I have a Puss in Boots at home. Literally Puss in Boots. My cat, it's a red cat and he can, he can look at you like Puss in Boots. Donkey, I think is one of my favorite characters also. Uh, and then Puss in Boots, yeah. Uh, what the far cut, a mini shadow palette. Then there's a donkey lipstick, a dragon lipstick, a, a Ginji lipstick, transformation lip balm, a Ginji highlighter, a swamp beware of ogre swamp clay mask. Oh my lord. The fairy godmother magic wand brush set. There's a magic mirror. There's a happily ever after makeup bag. There's an ogre ear makeup headband. 
It's available t today as I'm filming this, your yesterday, and I'm going to see if it's already online at makeuprevolution.com. Did I just, I just said that I was on a low, I wanted to go on a low buy, right? And then they do this. This time of year, <gasps> it's, it's online, it's online, so let me check. Okay, so the the um, by by night one way by day another. Um, it's actually it's a quite quite a cool palette actually. Um, yeah, the Shrek. That's basically Shrek. I I I need that clay mask. I know. <gasps> oh, I need the possum boots. I need. I I will put a picture up. <laughs> If you know my cat, you know that he can look this way. He looks at me like that. So I definitely need that. Yes, I do. So what else is there? Um, there's also a uh, I Heart a Transformation on the Lip Balm. Okay. Oh, that highlighter. It's also cool. That's basically the, the ginger, the ginger thingy. Oh. Yeah, so I apparently need stuff from this collection. So what do I really... I will... Put up a better picture. What I really love. The Puss in Boots palette. I need that for obvious reasons. I also like the Donkey palette. I think that the colors of the Donkey palette are pretty. Um, I don't know if it's an all matte palette. Or that it's mattes and corresponding shimmers. I think it's for. It's basically a matte quad and then a shimmer quad. Yes that's how it looks. Oh I like that. I like that. And I like, I like the Ogre Swamp Clay Mask as well. I also actually like the... Um, Um, what's the thing called? Basically Fiona's palette. I like Fiona's palette as well. It it looks to be. It rem. Oh uh, yeah, I'm. I'm kind of sad about this. So Fiona's palette, it's their old school plastic uh, palette. And I'm kind of sad about that. Uh, I wish they would have kept it cardboard. I think that the color story is cute. But that's not what's drawing me in. So I will. Uh, yeah, I. I I will get parts of this collection. Just not everything. But I definitely need the Puss in Boots. Listen, I also have the Cat in a Party Head Highlighter. Also from Makeup Revolution. Why? Do I need to explain myself? I also see right now that the Aussie collection. The Aussie Osborne collection is also on Revolution's site. And uh, I love this. I still love the Skull Uh, back We are going to go Yes, let's let's go to the next thing Which is from Lunar Beauty Now I, as I am filming this Have no idea Yellow, editing me here With the, the his majesty The kitty cat um, About Lunar Beauty I actually watched Manny's video this morning And I will link it down below Where he <laughs> Where he uh, basically shows the collection It's an advent calendar So let me Can I go to the side a little bit? Yeah, kind of like that. So it's an advent calendar and it's 12 days of lunar. And what did he do? He basically gave you an empty palette that is magnetic and then 12 shades in an advent calendar. And I think it's just so, so unique to do it like that. So I hope that it is a success. It will launch tomorrow on not only Lunar Beauty. I don't know if it will launch globally at the same time. Uh, but if you check my description box, you will uh, find Lunar Beauty's site. You will also find the retailers where it will launch to as well. Again, I don't know if it will launch at the exact same time. It's very limited edition though. So if the palette sells out or the advent calendar sells out, it's not coming back. And there will also be... Um, two new lip oils or at least a bunch of new lip oils. Those will not be. Uh, very limited edition uh, so yeah i will link down below where you can find it he showed three shades in the video so those are also the three shades that you will see on the screen and he said that it had the vibe of his latest palette so i hope that that helps let me know if you're getting it let me know if you're excited uh, you will find the rest of the info down below and now it's back to the regular programming Never mind. Let me know if you are excited. Um, next, I'm going to go to Flower Beauty because they have collaborated with ET for the ET. Well, I'm saying the ET phone home palette. Uh, it's uh, in celebration of the movie's 40th anniversary. Wow. Okay. 
Uh, Celestial Shimmers and Stellar Metallics Combine to give uh, eyes out of this world look available first online at Alta and coming soon to select CVS beauty stores near you. Uh, right now it's available at Alta for 20 bucks. I think this is very, very cool. Uh, yeah, I, I love E.T. as well. It's, I... E.T. for no. Yes, like that. Um... This is a palette that when I when I would were to see it in store, um, I would probably pick it up just because of the nostalgia, not specifically to use. I have used Flower Beauty's eyeshadows once, and I really did like the quality. I don't know how this, this quality is, but I, I do think that this is very very cute let me know if you got it let me know if you got it and if you tried it let us let us know down in the comments how the quality is let's next go to martina cosmetics i mentioned them i think two weeks back that they were coming out with a new collection here you have a picture of the collection because it dropped already it's called the triple x collection and it is an eyeshadow palette and it's a highlighter trio the eyeshadow palette is on its way to me i don't know when it will get here it launched uh monday right Yeah, I think it launched last Monday. I ordered it on launch. Uh, it's coming from basically, well, technically from Belgium. And I, I paid for expedited shipping. So I am expecting it any day. And uh, then I will start filming with it. Yeah, when I saw this color story, I was like, I definitely need this. The, the gray, the purple, and then with that, that bright, I don't know. What is it? Poison green. Oh, I love it. I did not get the highlighter palette though. Uh, initially, I was like, let me also get the highlighter palette. But then I was like, you know what? Am I realistically going to wear that? No. Uh, so I I opted out. Uh, but I did order the palette. And I am very much expecting it any day. So let, let us hope it will get to me quickly. When it does, I will film with it. And I promise this time I will, I will upload the video instead of just film the video. I promise, pinky swear. Yes, next I'm going to go to Bitter Lace Beauty because they brought back the uh, shade Bloodlust for the season. And this looks just so stunning with the spider in the... Is it a spider? I think it's a spider. I think it's a spider. So in my... It, listen, if I think it's a spider, then it's a spider. If you think that it, it looks more like an octopus, then it's an octopus. Let me know if you got it. Let me know if, if you're excited. I will leave it down below. Ah, uh, so I have here a new beauty, uh, a new brand. It's difficult today. A new brand called Ion Beauty, which is done by Chanel, Ion, and Tony Mold. Uh, I, I don't know either. So I had to look it up. So uh, Chanel, Ion, wasn't she a model? Yes. Oh, and from Bravo TV. I don't, I don't know. But she looks stunning. Let's just say that. I just don't know who she is. And I also had to look up Tony Mott. And I found out that she's a very uh, well-known makeup artist. But it's not in the circles that I frequent. I am also not invested in the fashion scene. So I don't know. So that's why I googled. Um, but yeah, uh, we will get lips, uh, eyes and face products first. And um, I like it when a makeup artist starts their own brand i like that because they have so much um, experience with all different types of skin tones different types of skins of just i think it could be a very very cool brand it will probably be above my price range but we don't know for sure do we so let me know if you're excited i don't know when it will launch or maybe i do I am beauty by Tony Malt, yeah. Oh, she's a real housewife of Dubai. Okay, okay. Um, so yeah, let me know if you're excited. I don't know when it will launch. I don't know, but I will leave their site down below because there you can uh, uh, get all the details for the pre-launch and all of that. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let's next go to Natasha Denona because she released the Baby Gold Eyeshadow Palette, which is three shades. However, these are three of the favorite existing shades from the iconic gold palette. So if you have the big gold palette, you will have these shades. And so the shades are uh, Log and Sandstone. Um... Dark brown and cool yellow beige. 
uh, and Oro. So those are the shades. I have the big palette, so I don't need this. Um, but yeah, maybe you are, if you if those were your three favorite shades, they are now in a micro palette, which is available October 21st, US and Canada, uh, Europe November 1st, or something, I think. So basically between the 22nd of October and, I don't know, November 1st. It's when it will drop kind of globally. So check where you buy Natasha Denona. Check that. I'm going to go to Nomad Cosmetics next because they have um, done another Starfish in their Starfish program. And that basically means that you get to vote. Uh, I will leave their post down below. You get to vote there for your favorite uh, influencer or just you know your favorite person you yeah favorite influencer that you feel deserves to be the starfish of the month um however there is also a theme every time and this time it's hispanic so it says here um this month it's the starfish program is to highlight and celebrate hispanic heritage month and that is uh, um, in the u.s from september 15th uh, to October 15th. So the Heritage Month is, is done. Uh, but you can nominate until the 25th of October. It says here. So please nominate your favorite uh, Latin Latinx beauty enthusiast. That spread, spreads positive vibes in the community. Uh, it's their way of basically giving back. And highlighting all the, the beautiful people and the, the good people that are in the beauty community. So, um, yeah, they do it regularly. So I will link their site. Uh, I will link the Instagram post down below. It contains all the rules. You can also uh, vote for your, uh, for your favorite there. The rules are US or international. It doesn't matter. Cannot nominate yourself. Uh, and they will not pick the same winner twice in one year. They will be picking 10 starfish. Oh, and each winner will receive a palette of their choice. So that is it. Um, they will close this context, uh, contest October 25th and will be picking the selected starfish by the first week of November. So yeah, I, I think that this is amazing. I've never seen another brand do anything like this. And um, yeah, I love them all the more for this. If you want to shop at Nomad Cosmetics, I do have an affiliate code, which is Nikki Raven 10 I will also leave their site down below in case you're like, ooh, I kind of want that. Um, so yeah, but go check them out on Instagram as well. Next, I'm going to go to Give Me Go Low Cosmetics because they are, they released, um, no, they are going to launch 22 shades of lippies on Black Friday, along with a brand new palette. That's what they're saying here. So it's basically then a lip, lip set. Uh, yeah, lip set trio, a liner, a gloss, and a liquid lipstick, I think. The one that I actually pulled out is the Whiskey and Honey. That's such a unique color. It's so pretty. So, and yeah, it's... I, I often drink Jack Daniels Honey. So there's that. Um, so this this is kind of right up my alley. But to just order a lip bundle, I, I'm not going to do that from the USA. That's just a little bit too for me. Um, but if I were to make an order from Give Me Glow and they have this shade in stock, the whiskey and honey, yeah, we'll definitely, definitely put it in. That's what she said. Yes. Next, I'm going to <laughs> next I'm going to go to something that I was like, yeah, it does not surprise me that this happened, and that is. Um, this RuPaul came out with a makeup collection and it's called Your Star Baby. It's online at uh, uh, Superdrug. So, yeah, when I saw this, I was like, yes, of course. I, it actually surprises me that it took so long, honestly. So, um, yeah, you get a Chante You Stay palette, a Sachet Away palette. There are lip sets, there are highlighters. There's a bunch of stuff in, in here and I will link down below where you can find it. Let me know if you're excited. Let me know if you're excited. If I were to go for anything, it would probably be lippy. For the rest, it's not really... Oh, they're complete face palettes. Yeah, okay. For, for the rest, it's not really... It's not really for me, but it's a pretty big collection. So let me know. Did you get any? 
was it the first time that you're hearing about it let me know down below the last thing that i'm going to mention is from uh, prados beauty and this is their uh, indigenous people's day collection uh, it's available now uh, it's the sagrado collection and it's dedicated to those who bring blessing teachings stories and growth to their lives a portion of all the sales of the box will be donated to various indigenous causes and non-profits throughout turtle island and i think that is an amazing cause so there is a 30 pen eyeshadow palette there are single pen blushes there are eyelashes there are lippies there's a gloss a liner uh, two liners actually um there's a vip box uh, I don't know what they still have in stock, but I did want to mention this. Um, I've never tried this brand, but I think that the brand is very, very interesting. And I love what they are doing. So um, I actually think that the color story is very pretty too. Yeah, I think you get a mix of everything. Um, the blushes look pretty. Everything looks looks stunning the falses are not really my style but that does that's okay uh, so let me know if you know the brand let me know if you have ordered anything let me know down below i will link where you can find it and um yeah then that is going to be it for today's episode it is it for today um yeah the halloween releases keep on keep on coming on don't they uh next week is actually is it's kind of halloween week right so uh halloween is uh on monday the 31st so what am i what i'm asking you to do for me is tag me in all the halloween releases you want me to talk about next week because next week i want to do purely halloween releases it can be your favorites it can be my favorites favorite halloween releases it can be new release maybe i will kind of combine that so do my favorite halloween releases of this year combined with some new halloween releases this year so tag me on instagram on your favorite releases i will also pin a comment uh in case you're not on instagram um make sure that you answer underneath the pinned comment under of this video your favorite halloween release of this year because i think that will be a very very fun video uh yeah you will also see my members and my patreons scrolling across the screen thank you so so much if you are either uh, it helps out the channel tremendously and yeah if you want to be a member there's a join button underneath the video there should also be a link i believe in the description box if i'm not mistaken there's also a link to patreon if you want to be a patron uh, so yeah that is it for today thank you so so much for watching i am going to wish you a fantastic day a fabulous evening may your foundation always match your neck and i will see you very soon in my next video bye guys